Okay, so walk, walk me through. This is, this is fauna right here. Mm -hmm. Paleontologists in North Carolina have unearthed a new dinosaur species that lived nearly 100 million years ago in what is now Utah. It's a seven-foot-long plant-eating dinosaur the size of a large dog that lived in burrows underground, and it's named after the Chamorro creation story, Puntan and Fotna. This new dinosaur is named Fotna Herzage. And Fotna is a really cool dinosaur because it's a small dinosaur, um, which is really uncommon to find, right? When we think of dinosaurs, we think of these giant behemoth-like creatures that were stomping around the earth. Um, but there were also a lot of smaller dinosaurs. They're just harder to find. Paleontologist Haviv Avrahami is a PhD student at North Carolina State University and a digital technician for the Dueling Dinosaurs Project at the National Science Museum. He's the author of the new dinosaur species publication, whose discovery was years in the making. A lot of people think that when a new di dinosaur is discovered, it's found one day and the next day we announce it to the world. But... There's a lot of science that has to happen before we can actually give a dinosaur its name. It took over 10 years for the initial discovery in the ground to see the light of publication. The first specimen of Fotna, I think, was found in 2013 by the Chicago Field Museum. And then our team of North Carolina paleontologists, we went out to the same area in Utah, working with the Chicago Field Museum because it's a big collaborative effort. And we started finding another site in 2015 and then we found another one in 2017, and we just keep finding him almost every other year now. But the reason why he named the new dinosaur Fotna? He's also the grandson of Joseph and Annie Villagomez from Barragada. I'm so proud of being Chamorro, but I'm also somewhat disconnected from it because, you know, my family was part of the diaspora. So we grew up in San Diego, right? And I only have gotten to visit Guam one time from my grandfather's funeral back in 2019, right before the pandemic. And when I was there, I just, I just became obsessed with everything tomorrow. It was like I was, I was, it was like I was coming back to something that I had, I never knew I was missing. Now he's excited to honor his Chamorro roots while doing his part to decolonize the science of fossils. The sciences in general has a dark, long history of colonial practices, and paleontology as well as archaeology, but paleontology specifically, also has a long history of colonial practices, colonial culture, and a very extractive mentality. It's a legacy of paleontology Avrahami is hoping to change for the better. He says in the past centuries, this fossil science usually resulted in shipping off new discoveries to Western museums and giving them European-based or Latinized names. Indigenous people haven't seen enough representation in a lot of these STEM fields like paleontology and archaeology. Uh, so going into it, I knew that I wanted to honor Indigenous culture. Um, and I decided that I wanted to start with this first dinosaur. This is my first dinosaur discovery. I wanted to start by honoring my own roots. And on my mother's side, uh, we're Chamorro. He wanted to do it the right way, so he began by making connections with local experts. I eventually got connected with a guy named um, Dietrich John Ukuloa Duhelansad, and he connected me to another guy named Jeremy Cepeda. And both of these guys uh, are like cultural and historical and language experts uh, for Guam and the Pacifica Islands. Um, and then we, we linked up, too, with a guy named Raf Umpinko, and we all had a big Zoom meeting to talk story. It's through these talks that he realized the creation story was a perfect fit. Because there's a lot of, there's a lot of symbolism and connection there, right? So, you know, you know the whole story with Fotna being the sister, Ponten being the brother, and out of love and compassion for her brother, she uses a piece of it, pieces of his body to craft the parts of the universe, and then she becomes part of the earth herself. So she fossilizes and from her body comes new forms of life. He feels it mirrors the life and death of Fotna the dinosaur who also lived in close family bonds underground and returned back to the earth. As Abrahami reflects on his publication, he hopes it provides encouragement to others in his field. I hope it keeps people really excited about exploring new ways to integrate culture and science together. And um, and I hope it inspires people to continue decolonizing paleontology in creative ways, uh, not just with 
the way we name new dinosaurs, but also how we interact with the public, we form connections. And most especially, he hopes his story inspires more kids in the Marianas and the Pacific Islands to follow in his footsteps. The world we live in today, today is only a single snapshot in the long history of what life is like on planet Earth. And paleontology provides us the video reel to that single picture and it fills in a lot of the gaps that we have. And that's just a wonderful mystery and adventure to be part of. And there's so many, there's so many more discoveries out there that are just waiting to be found.